One of the items that people struggle understanding is how to properly format fields uh, using switches. When you do a mail merge, the values when you merge them don't automatically get formatted the way they might have been formatted on the spreadsheet or the data source. So let me show you how to make something that looks like this into something that looks like this and it follows the format of a dollar symbol, percentage, phone number, social security, and long date. In order to demonstrate this, this is the finished product, I will, I will show you step-by-step -step inst instructions on how to achieve just that. The first thing to do is to click on the mailings tab which will allow us to select the recipients. I'm going to use an existing list. I'm going to select the first sheet. Click OK. Now I have access to the different blocks on that spreadsheet. So then I highlight where it says value goes here and insert my value. This is the record number. Now, if you're looking at the curly brackets the way I'm looking at them is because I have turned that on. That feature allows me to see the formatting of the switches. So I am going to hold the Alt key and the F9 key on my keyboard and press them both at the same time. Now what you will see is what you would normally see when you insert and merge those fields that you want to use. So I'm going to use currency here, percentage here, phone, social security, and I'm going to go ahead and do one more. I'm going to go ahead and show you a fifth sample, and that is going to be a date. So then I'm going to select this and insert the date. Now if you want to preview what you have without any formatting you click on the preview results and it shows you what you have with very little formatting or if you have any of this kind of formatting coming from the database it might show but definitely this is currency it doesn't have the dollar symbol even though my data does have the dollar symbol and my percentages do have percentages so I am going to apply formatting to this merge field so that it does show a dollar symbol and others using switches. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the Alt key and the F9 key. That will go ahead and turn on the curly brackets which will allow me to go ahead and use switches to change the formatting of these numbers. So the first one I'm going to do is the merge field currency. The switch that allows me to format this number is space backslash pound sign open quotes dollar symbol comma zero point zero zero semicolon open parentheses dollar symbol comma zero dot zero zero close parentheses close quotes. Now to see the result, to see if it actually did work, hold the Alt key and then the F9 key again and you'll note that it has not changed. You need to do an extra step. You need to right click on the field and say update field and now you will see the formatting that we want to use for this currency sample. Alright, let's go ahead and click on Alt F9 again and for this example it's going to be a little bit more difficult because what I want to do if you recall if I look at the result Alt F11 and preview the result is 0.25 so I have to times this amount times 100 and then add the percentage so I can get a percentage without showing it to me as 0.25 percent it's actually 25 percent so this is what we need to do again Alt F11 then I am going to select the contents inside the curly brackets and type in equals. Notice that I remove the merge field. I'm going to merge the field again by going to insert field. It is a percentage so I select percentage. That gives me the field by itself which I'm going to go ahead and times it by 100. Then my switch. Toggle switch backslash pound sign. Open quotes pound sign, pound sign, 
percentage symbol. Close quotes. And now let's look at it. Alt F9 still shows 0 0.25, but when we right click and select update field, you should see 25%. Okay, let's do the Social Security. Alt F9, switch, backslash pound sign, and I'm doing the Social Security, so it's going to be quotes. 0, 0, 0, because it's three digits at first. Single quote, dash, single quote, 0, 0, because there's two digits after that. Single quote, dash, single quote, 0, 0, 0, 0. Double quote. All right, let's look at it. Alt F9, right click on the field, update the field, and now you have the little dashes. Okay, it's not always backslash pound sign. Sometimes it's backslash at. You use those whenever you want to change the date. So let's go ahead and do the date. Alt F9, backslash, at, quotes, and I want a long date, so I'm going to type DDDD -D 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 for the full name of the day, comma, space, MMMM -M 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 to get the full month, space D to get the number of the date, comma, space, Y, 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 Y to get the full year. Close quote. Alt F9 right click on the date or the field and now you have the long date so that's how you use switches to format merge fields in word